Welcome to a composites tip from the Ultralight Airplane Workshop. My name is Leon. If you're looking to get or have just recently obtained a vacuum pump that requires vacuum pump oil, make sure you read the instructions to see how often you need to replace that oil. I've noticed in reading the manual on a number of these pumps that 50 hours is roughly what is recommended. For the way I use my pump, that's about every five or six parts that I make. I tend to lay up my parts late in the evening and let the vacuum pump run overnight. The pump I got is actually pretty easy to change the oil. This little screw at the bottom of the pump where you drain the oil, it's got an O-ring where you only have to tighten it up finger tight to keep it tight enough. You want to loosen or remove the cap on top to help the oil drain out a little faster. Most manuals will recommend that you run the pump for a little while to get that oil warmed up so it'll come out easily. You could do that, it's not necessarily required. You'll probably have to tilt the back end of the pump up a little bit to get all of the oil out. Now as you can see in the cup here, this oil is not clear. When it went in, when I first filled up the pump, it was clear. And as you can see, it's got a little bit of a tan color to it. So it really does need to be replaced every 50 hours or so. What I've decided to use to refill the pump is this black gold vacuum pump oil. And in this case, I bought a gallon of it. Now I've already run this pump once so far, and it seems to work pretty well. If any of you other folks out there have used this, let me know what your results have been. This is the first time I've been using this black gold, so I'll be looking forward to seeing how well it performs. If you'd like to try this black gold vacuum pump oil out too, I put an affiliates link down in the description for this video that you can click on and buy it. And the channel will get a small cut of the purchase price for that oil. And here is an additional tip for your vacuum pump. When you turn it off, you want to relieve the vacuum pressure on that suction port. If you don't, what will happen is that oil will get sucked back through the pump and up into your hose. And it'll take a little while for it to do that, so you got a little bit of time to relieve that vacuum pressure. But within five minutes, 10 minutes, you really should do that. You don't want to leave it for hours under vacuum pressure. If you do leave that oil up in that hose and you go to turn it on, you can damage your vacuum pump. So make sure you relieve that pressure. Well, if you want more of these composite tips, making composite parts, airplane design videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be notified when videos are uploaded, click on that little bell symbol.